I'm B-Boy Bill, and this is How to Hang a Swarm Trap. One of the things I made for this project so I can put it on landowner's property without them worried about me screwing into their trees is this block here. It's just a piece of pallet and a piece of scrap 2x4 screwed and glued together. And we're going to put it on our tree first. Another piece you're going to need is a level. We're using foundationless frames and we want the bees to build nice straight comb. In order to do that, we need to make our swarm trap nice and level when we hang it on the tree. Another thing we're going to need is a ratchet strap. Depending on which tree you're using, if it has a good branch you can set your trap on, or if you're going to be using the block, you may need two of these, so always have two with you. Another thing that works really well is a couple bungee cords. Once we get this on our tree, we're going to need to hold it to the tree while we get the ratchet straps ready. And the last piece of equipment is this ladder. I found this ladder fits in my little car about three and a half feet tall it's called a gorilla we want our trap to be about 10 to 15 feet in the air there's a few things we need to consider when we hang a swarm trap one we want to find a nice tree that's not in direct sunlight during the middle of the day two we have to point the entrance of our trap south or east and three it's a good idea to have your trap between 10 and 15 feet in the air based on tom seeley's research We've determined we want the direction of our hive to face that way, which is directly south. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to strap the block to the tree. The first thing I like to do is start by wrapping my tie down around the tree and then threading it through the ratchet. Once your ratchet straps around the tree, you can go ahead and put your stop block in. And then tighten it up. At this point, we want to get it level out and make sure that the, that the block is level before we put the trap on it. Give it a little more tighten. That ought to do it. The next thing we're going to do is get our bungees around the tree. This will help hold our trap up while we get the last ratchet strap on. Now that we have our bungee cord around the tree, we'll go ahead and grab our trap. We can set our trap right on here. And then go ahead and pull the bungee cord up around the trap. It's a good time to check again and make sure our trap is level. It looks like we need a little shim to make our trap level. Great thing about hanging traps in trees there's always some branches around. Once we got our trap shimmed out, level, it's time to put the last ratchet strap on. It should be nice and sturdy when you get the last ratchet strap on and you want to go ahead and make sure it's still level. You want to make sure your door is open and nice and snug so that it won't close on you. You can go ahead and remove your bungee cords and that's it. Trap ready to go. I'd live in there. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe.